We are standing by as well to hear from Anthony Albanese. He's due to address the Labor caucus right now, so we'll see if we can bring that up for you. I'd say he will make some comments on this. Um, again, uh, perhaps he is exercising a high degree of caution, but we will see because he is addressing caucus very soon. I want to bring in Mick Mulvaney, former Chief of Staff to the Trump administration in the White House there. Uh, Mick Mulvaney, great to have you on the program as well. This was certainly um, would have come across your desk when you were Chief of Staff, right? But this is a big development under the Biden administration. Oh. Oh, absolutely, Laura. This would be the type of thing. In fact, I have to give the White House credit um, for keeping this one locked down because this would not have come up in the last 24 hours. They would have been working on this for weeks, if not longer. And to not have this leak out, I think, is probably a compliment to this uh, to the operation they're running. So what? why now? Can you give us an idea of, of why this deal now? Because there's been pressure for quite some years. And I, I noted before, we're a couple of months out from an election. The answer to your question is no, I have no idea. And it's going to be fascinating to see why, because you're right. You're having the same reaction that a lot of us are having here. And again, I'm just reading about it right before I turned on my computer. Um, and it's because, oh, and you think to yourself, okay, what is different now? Nothing on the surface appears mm. to be very different. So it could be one of two things or two most likely things. Number one, this is just the end of a very long process that just took a long time to play out or something has changed behind the scenes that we don't know about yet. And that's what I'll be watching in the upcoming days and weeks, is it was there something different? Was there a new piece of information? Was there a new risk assessment? Was there something that prompted the Biden administration to say, you know what, we need to, to put this one into high gear and get it done now? I don't think we know the answer for that for some point, uh, some time to come. Yeah, that's fair enough on the on the timing. Um, but there is the London court proceedings that have certainly put a lot of pressure on the United States. But what kind of uh, political backlash or otherwise might there be for Biden? Or is this just kind of a non-issue in the United States so far down the line? Yeah, it's more of an issue, as we say, inside the Beltway. This would be a right. big issue on Capitol Hill within the Washington establishment and so forth. It's not going to, to, to impact any of the, the congressional elections, the Senate elections, probably not the presidential election. Face it, the story's got some age on it. I mean, what has it been, 10 years at least, I mm. think, maybe more than that? Um, so it, it's not, I, I don't think this was done for political purposes. It's also one of the issues, Laura, that, that divides the parties sort of down the middle. There's Republicans who take different views of this, Democrats who take different views of this. That's so often the case when it comes to uh, espionage versus civil liberties. It's an interesting debate, but it's not a, queer, a, a clear winner or loser politically, which, again, drives me back to that, that, that assumption. It's an educated guess at this point that something substantive had changed recently that prompted this particular action. We've heard from Anthony Albanese uh, in recent times. The last time I interviewed him on this program, I asked him about it. And he was pretty strident in his views. And given the, you know, the, diplom the diplomacy that is required here, of course, the United States are our best friends when it comes to that diplomatic uh, relationship. But, you know, you still need to, to tread carefully because it is putting pressure on, uh, on the Biden administration. But he has said that this has gone on for far too long and it's time that Julian Assange come home, uh, as I understand it. He's done a lot of uh, quiet work uh, behind the scenes over the last two years as well. Does that diplomatic pressure from a prime ministerial level, uh, uh, you know, direct to the president on the White House, that's got to have a, a huge impact, doesn't it? But the question is, what's the impact on the relationship? And I think you, you made an excellent point, which is, you know, we're, we're very the closest of friends, the cro closest of allies. And sometimes those are the people you can speak most candidly to and have disagreements with without having them affect the larger relationship. So I, I don't think... Um, and Mick, I, I mean, no offense I'll just whatsoever. interrupt you for a moment because we're just seeing Anthony Albanese live. He's just stepped up to the podium in caucus. 